Hello friends, welcome in a lecture of Dynamics of Machinery Subject. Myself, Mites Patel. I am a assistant professor in the mechanical department at a Dr. Subhas Technical Campus, Chunagad. Today's our lecture topic is a natural frequency and in this lecture we solve the number of example of natural frequency or natural free vibration. Okay means the natural frequency of natural vibration okay in this so let's start the lecture before we start the lecture we summarize or revise some topics or basic fundamentals okay so first of all uh, what is the vibration well, we know that the vibration is a to and fro type of motion of of a repeating type motion okay now what is the frequency frequency is the number of cycle per unit time number of cycle completed in a unit times it's called the frequency now what is the natural frequency the frequency of natural free vibration is called the natural frequency okay so in in, in this lecture we solve the number of examples in which we find out the natural frequency of natural free vibration and what is the natural free vibration natural free vibration is the vibration which are freely freely vibrate without any resisting force then this type of vibration is called the natural free vibration so in in this lecture we solve the example and of natural free vibration and find out the natural frequency okay so let's start first example uh, what is the data is given let's see uh, for given system as shown in figure the figure is given okay the following data is also given with this figure k1 is a stiffness of spring 1500 newton per meter k2 is a 800 newton per meter k2 is a here this spring stiffness is a 800 newton per meter k3 is a stiffness of third spring 250 newton per meter k4 or k5 is a k4 or equal to k5 is equal to 300 Newton per meter okay now find the mass M if the system has a natural frequency of 8 Hertz okay natural frequency is given but we have to find out the mass attached to this spring system okay so we know that the how the find the frequency of spring and mass system okay the frequency f is equal to omega n upon 2 pi okay and how to find out the omega n of spring and mass system for a natural free vibration omega n is equal to how to find under root k upon m omega n is find out by under root k upon m okay so we have to first find out the equivalent stiffness of all combined springs means in short we can say that uh, find out the single stiffness which provide the same stiffness combinedly generated or provided by the all springs okay so it's equivalent stiffness is defined by the ke okay so let's start the procedure to find out the equivalent stiffness so first of all we see the these two spring are connected in a series and k3 and k4 spring are connected in parallel so first k1 and k2 or 1 and 2 spring are in series so for that we find out the equivalent spring it's called the ke1 for a equivalent stiffness for two spring okay so how to find out the 
equivalent stiffness for a spring is connected in a series is find out by this equation 1 upon k1 k1 is a equivalent stiffness of 1 and 2 spring is equal to 1 upon k1 plus 1 upon k2 so now put the value of k1 and k2 we find out the value of equivalent stiffness ke1 the kv1 is defined as a one spring stiffness which provide the same stiffness provided by the both combinedly both spring are provided okay now similarly here the spring in connected in parallel so for a parallel connected spring we find the equivalent stiffness for 3 and 4 type for spring so here equivalent stiffness for a parallelly connected spring ke2 is equal to k3 plus k4 now ke2 is a equivalent stiffness for a 3 and 4 spring okay here put the value of 3 and 4 spring so it's a 250 and 300 okay and finally we get the value of equivalent stiffness of these two parallel spring parallel spring it's a 550 newton per meter now we can convert this figure into this way now we have a again two springs so also we have to find out the equivalent stiffness for both these springs okay now what is the connection between this two spring and mass means the connection is series or parallel in this two spring with mass okay so this is called the connection in parallel connection so we easily find out the equivalent stiffness or equivalent system of this system by considering the parallel okay considering the parallel so here we can see that the omega n is equal to under root k upon m so total stiffness of this system is defined by parallel connected spring here ke1 and ke2 plus ke2 here ke is is equal to ke1 or ke2 okay plus this condition or this equation for a parallelly connected spring this this system is behave like a parallel connected two spring if we compress the spring the mass is defined by the two forces when similarly to in the parallelly connected spring okay so remember this type of system here the spring are consider as a parallel connection okay now take the free body diagram of this mass the mass uh, the number of forces apply onto the this mass here k1 k2 here consider the two spring and two spring have a are connected in a parallel connection so here spring force stiffness is equal to force per unit deflection or displacement so spring force is equal to stiffness into displacement okay so spring force for a spring one and spring force for a spring two stiffness into displacement ke1 into x ke2 into x okay now here mx dot is a inertia force inertia force okay the mx dot is a inertia force okay now here according to principle inertia force is equal to external forces so mx double dot is equal to negative kx negative ke2x okay now 
take the value in one side of the equation so one side is a zero and other side is a all elements now the x is taken a common from both k value and now in this equation we have divide the left and right side of the equation by m so here the first element mm is cancelled so only x double dot is there plus here the all element all element is divided by m okay and right side zero okay now here this equation is the displacement equation or we can say that simple harmonic equation of displacement so this equation is compared with the displacement of simple harmonic we can say that omega n square is equal to x is equal to 0 this equation and this equation are similar so comparing the both equation x double dot plus omega n square is equal to 0 this equation and this equation are equal so comparing the value of or comparing this equation or both equation so the value this value is equal to omega n square okay so square is removed so in right side the whole value is in under root okay now we know that frequency is equal to omega n upon 2 pi and here put the value of omega n okay from that equation and finally we only unknown is a m and we finally got the value of m is a 0 0.424 kg okay the example is complete and in this example first you have to remember that the finally got the equivalent stiffness of all the springs so for a series and for parallel connection and then and then applying the equation and solve the example okay now take the another example it's a different one find the natural frequency of a system shown in figure stiffness is given mass is given okay two mass is there m is capital m and small m here capital m is a bigger pulley and the small m is for a small pulley oh, sorry capital m is a mass of pulley okay compound pulley and small m is the mass connected with the string or cord with the pulley okay r is a capital r is a radius of bigger pulley and small r is a radius of smaller pulley the small r is a 30 hundred m uh, sorry 30 mm capital r is a 50 mm small m is a 2 kg and the pulley weight is a 10 kg the stiffness of spring is a 1000 newton per meter okay now if we must initially take the downward and release then the body is vibrated means the uh, mass is linearly vibrated and pulley is twist or untwist means torsionally vibrated okay so two types of vibration are there in a pulley torsionally vibration and in mass is a linear vibration okay now angular displacement of pulley is defined by the theta linear displacement of mass is defined by the x1 okay now linear velocity of mass is a x1 dot x1 dot is equal to how much is that x1 is equal to means the linear displacement of mass is equal to how much is that small r theta it's a equal to the chord okay let's consider that initially the 
point on strange or pulley is A. Okay, and when we displace the mass from this position, the A point is come here, and it's called the headless. So the displacement of this mass is equal to the chord length of A headless. So it's defined by the chord length. It is defined by the theta into radius. Okay, so x one is defined by the small r theta. Okay, and for a velocity, it's defined by the r theta dot. Okay, and for acceleration, x one double dot and r theta double dot. Now deflection of spring. x2 here is equal to similarly here the mass is connected with the smaller one pulley and here the spring is connected with the bigger one pulley so here the length of cord is considered for the bigger one pulley so here the radius is a capital r theta capital r so here x2 defined by capital r theta okay now this problem is solved by the by the two method first one is the equilibrium method and second one is the energy method okay so first start with the equilibrium method okay in this method the d'alembert principle is applied and the summation of the all forces are equal to zero but when it's in motion it's consider the inertia force plus all the forces of the body is equal to zero now as the inertia force we know that mx double dot okay and here the equation or principle is apply for the small mass vibration okay here okay so when mass is applied to the number of forces applied to the mass is a inertia force and tension force of strain okay so two force are mentioned is equal to zero now the tension force is equal to we can say that negative m into x1 double dot okay now considering the rotary motion of pulley and means the equation as defined or d'alembert principle apply for the pulley vibration torsionally vibration of pulley so here inertia force of pulley plus external all number of forces applied to the pulley is equal to zero sorry forces is not considered here the torque is there because the vibration is a torsion so here torsionally vibration are there so the s uh, sorry inertia force is defined by the i0 theta double dot okay and i0 is a mass moment of inertia in the center axis or axis now here the force into distance okay for a pulley the here the force is defined by the spring on pulley so this force are is a for spring force the spring force is a defined by k into displacement and here displacement is a r theta so k r capital r theta or perpendicular distance torque is there so force into perpendicular distance k r theta is a spring force and distance is the capital r from the axis okay it's a distance capital r and the force provided by the spring is a k r theta okay now the tension force of spring in downward direction pulley and the distance is a small r perpendicular distance small small r into t okay but this force is in downward direction and this force is in this direction so according to moment this is the anti clockwise so it's a negative okay and these two are positive okay now put the value of tension force from the 
and earlier conditions or earlier principle apply for the mass and it is a minus m x1 double dot here value is put and now simplify the equation rearrange the equation here the x1 double dot is equal to r theta double dot so its value is also inserted the value of x1 in form of r theta double dot because the x1 value is put into the form of theta because the here the base of the equation must be in single if theta and x there the finally this the displacement equation or simple harmonic is in one base if theta or x so here if theta and x both are there we not comparing with the simple harmonic motion equation okay so it's much necessary to the equation base is a one so x is converted into the r theta double dot okay so now theta double dot is take a common from this both element and i o plus m r square in bracket in and theta double dot into plus k r square theta is equal to zero and the value of i zero for a cylinder or pulley it's a m r square by two okay and mass is a capital m for a pulley and here the m r square is already there so m r square by two plus small m r square okay and multiplication theta double dot k r square theta now this bracket is take a common from left and right side so here only theta double dot is there and here the k r square theta so bracket is in upon and at this side is a zero so and not any other things it's a zero so now this is the equation like a simple harmonic motion equation in the base of theta so simple harmonic displacement equation is a theta double dot omega n square theta is equal to zero so this both equation are compare and we get the value of omega n equal to this bracket okay this are mention is here and the square is removed so the all value are in the under root and finally we know that the frequency equation is equal to omega n upon 2 pi so put the value of omega n from this okay and put the all values of all elements capital radius small radius stiffness capital mass small mass okay and finally we get the value of frequency is a 2.10 hertz okay so this is the equilibrium method in which the forces are forces are considered for the masses or mass which are which are in motion or means the vibration which are feel the vibration here the spring is also vibrated or in linear motion or periodic motion or vibration here the small mass is in vibration and pulley is in, in torsional vibration but the spring vibration is not considered or not considering the forces on that because the mass is neglected of this element if the mass is considered of any element and is it in is it in vibration then and then apply for d'alembert principle for this element so here the mass is given of to this element so d'alembert principle is apply for this two element for a small mass m and the pulley or mass of pulley is given so the d'alembert principle is apply for pulley and small mass only not apply for the spring if the mass of spring is considered and given then also d'alembert principle is apply for the spring also okay now solve the example with the energy method here the two energies are there potential energy and kinetic energy when the body is in vibrate vibration okay so when in motion the kinetic energy for a linear 
linear kinetic energy for a small mass is a one half mv square. V is defined by in form of displacement x1 dot square. Okay, x1 is the displacement of small mass. Okay. Now it's converted into the form of x is converted into the form of theta. So small mass is connected with the small pulley, which radius is small r. So theta is the common for that. We can see that earlier. So theta is common, a to a dash and b to b dash for theta is common, but the radius is change small r and capital R for the coordinate. Okay. So here x is equal to r theta dot x dot square sir. x dot square for velocity. So here it's a m r square theta dot square. And similarly for the rotary or torsional vibration, kinetic energy is a one half i o omega square. Okay. So omega square is defined by the and omega square is the velocity and velocity in form of theta so theta dot square uh, velocity is defined in the theta dot theta dot is a, a circular or angular velocity omega okay then also is defined by the theta dot in the vibration analysis or natural free vibration here or we know that the mass moment of inertia of the pulley or a cylindrical cylindrical portion is a mr square by 2 m is the mass of pulley and r is the radius of pulley so m r square by 2 and divided by 2 2 is also there in upon so 2 2 is a 4 1 upon 4 m r square theta dot square all right now the potential energy of spring okay so it's defined by we know that the potential energy of spring is a one half kx square so here the displacement of spring is equal to x2 x2 is defined by the we have defined by the this way and this is the x1 of mass and here the x2 is a displacement of spring spring displacement is more than the displacement of mass as shown in figure okay x2 and x1 okay so spring displacement is a x2 so x2 is defined by the capital R theta. So x square is equal to R square theta square. Okay. And now total kinetic energy. And the both energy sum. Okay. And total potent potential energy is the sum of the potential energy. Here the only one spring. So only one potential energy. Now according to energy method. Uh, energy conservation principle. As the total energy of system is a constant. So differentiation of total energy is equal to zero and here the total energy is uh, defined by kinetic energy plus potential energy okay so dy dt of means the differentiation with time of total energy is equal to zero because the energy is constant so its differentiation with respect to time is a uh, zero this is the energy principle okay so now Put the value of kinetic energy and potential energy. Okay, here the total kinetic energy and put the value of potential energy. Okay. Now differentiate the all the element. So one by two m r square is a common theta dot differentiation with respect to time. Theta dot square two is come out in multiplication and theta dots again differentiate with the time is a theta double dot okay here similarly one one fourth mr square is a constant so differences is not done only differentiation is of theta dot theta dot square differentiation again to theta dot and theta dots again differentiation is a theta double dot okay here also similar one half kr square is a constant so differentiation is also considered of theta so theta square 
differentiation is a 2 is again 2 theta and thetas again the differentiation of theta is a theta dot so 2 theta theta dot okay it's the differentiation equal to 0 now 1 by 2 uh, 2 2 is the cancel 2 2 is the cancel 2 and 2 is the cancel okay and the theta dash is also take a constant and move to this side right side so it's gone one half and theta dot okay so remaining elements is an right edge here and now we got this equation okay now theta double dot let's take a common from this both element and in bracket the remaining elements are right as shown in slide or equation now this bracket is take a common from left and right side so here the bracket is take a common so only theta double dot is there here the bracket is bracket value is not there so it's divide and multiply to for a taken so bracket is divided by this element and here the zero is divided by this bracket but the its value is zero okay now this equation is equal to the equation of simple harmonic motion displacement equation omega and sorry theta double dot plus omega n square theta is equal to zero this equation and this equation are equal so comparing this equation we get the value of omega n square is equal to bracket okay as so on and similar the same omega n value is get okay and similarly from the earlier method we put the value and find the value of frequency similar 2.10 hertz okay here from both both the method the energy method is easy to solve the example in some cases but maybe it's lengthy but it's a simple because the only two energy is considered in any system potential and kinetic energy but in the method of equilibrium we have to consider the forces if the system are complex then the number of forces are apply in there and all the forces are count into the in this method so it's uh, difficult to solve okay so some kind in some problem energy method is laborious or lengthy but it's so easy because only considering the kinetic energy and potential energy okay so we solve the example with the energy method with the help of energy method okay the again the another example is given of a cylinder and spring as shown in figure find the natural frequency of oscillation for the roller rolling on horizontal surface without slipping as shown in figure the mass of roller is 5 kg radius of roller, roller is a 50 mm and the stiffness of spring is a 2000 newton per meter what would be the new frequency of oscillation if the radius of roller is made 100 mm without changing the mass okay now the spring stiffness is given 2000 newton per meter the radius of roller is given the 50 mm the mass of roller is a 5 kg okay okay similarly the linear displacement of spring is considered x1 okay and the angular displacement of roller is defined by theta okay so again we know the angular displacement of spring is defined by the x and if we convert into the theta then it's equal to the r theta okay r is the radius and defined by the length of core okay and similar in earlier example here okay now the linear acceleration or velocity first take the velocity is x1 dot okay is equal to r theta dot and linear acceleration is equal to x1 double dot is equal to r theta double dot and x1 is equal to r theta 
x1 is equal to r theta okay so x1 dot is equal to r theta dot and x double dot is equal to r theta dot theta double dot means the double time derivation with respect to time of theta and theta dot is a single time derivation with respect to time okay now here the kinetic energy of linear and rotary are both are considered okay so here the mass is given to the cylinder only one element so two kinetic energies are there for that element why if you considering the mass from its cg the cg is in center of cylinder so center of cylinder is move if we take the cylinder in this side and if left the cylinder is vibrate move this way its center of cylinder is the vibrate in linear way but the surface of cylinder it's vibrating torsionally vibrating vibrating torsionally okay so two motions are considered the center of mass is vibrate linearly and the surface of cylinder according to that the cylinder is vibrate torsionally okay so two kinetic energies are considered in this case linear and rotary for same mass for the same mass or single mass okay the single mass having a two energy two kinetic energy linear and rotary both okay so linear kinetic energy 1/2 mv square okay v is defined by the x and x and what is the linear displacement of this center is the x okay and x is defined by the r theta so here x dot is equal to r r theta and here x dot square so r square theta dot square okay and similarly kinetic energy of rotary of roller 1/2 io omega square so 1/2 io theta dot square okay velocity is defined by theta dot okay now io is equal to mr square by 2 okay now applying the energy principle so total energy of total total energy of system is a constant okay sorry not zero it's a constant if it's differentiate with the time then total energy differentiate the total energy with respect to time is a zero okay so here the total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy okay so now the put the value of both spring energy is a 1/2 kx square and x is defined by the r theta so r square theta square okay and now put the value of all and similarly differentiation of all the element here one one half m r square is as it is theta dot square derivation two theta dot and theta dot derivation is again so theta double dot similarly here theta dot square theta dot square two theta dot theta double dot and here theta square derivation is a two theta and theta is again theta dot okay so two theta theta dot okay so now again take a constant 1 by 2 and theta dot and move into the move to the right side okay so it's a value of 0 in right side and 1 by 2 1 by 2 and theta dot is goes out from the left side so remaining element is right and the equation is then now theta dot double dot is take the common so in bracket the write the value in bracket and common is a theta double dot now left and right side of this equation divide by this bracket value so if you divide by this bracket so this bracket is cancel only theta double dot is there okay you have to simplify the base bracket and now this bracket is divided by left and right side so here divided by this bracket so theta double dot is only there here the no bracket value is there so bracket is 
multiply and divide okay so this bracket is divided by this element and also divided to 0 but the value is again 0 okay now r square r square is a cancel so upon 2 upon is goes to up and 2 is up 2k upon 3m okay now this is the equation of simple harmonic motion is equal to the simple harmonic motion or similar to the simple harmonic motion of displacement so here the we get the value of omega n square by comparing to both equation so omega n square is equal to 2k upon 3m and remove the square it's an under root and now we get the frequency omega n upon 2 pi and put the value of omega n and put the value of stiffness and mass and finally we got the value of frequency 2.59 hertz okay so almost example is natural frequency example we can easily solve by the energy method okay thanks for listening video and if you have, if you have any query related to uh, natural frequency example then free field to ask to me thank you again